One of the questions which I have been asked, and I'm sure you've been asked and will be asked, is what exactly is your political philosophy? What are you? Uh, what's the name of it? And we're stuck with Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, libertarian, anarcho-syndicalist, progressive, and then the pejoratives that each side or sides will level against the other. So it's a combination of all of these ideas all kind of amalgamated into one, this sort of thing. And I, since I can remember, since I began doing this kind of professional political commentary in 1988, maybe, I've always said, no, the name, the name doesn't apply. The, these, these words don't apply. They don't really get to the basis. Until, not too, too long ago, a number of years ago, I became aware of the term that best describes me and what I believe in. And I want to share it with you. And I believe, upon careful consideration, you will agree, it probably describes you as well. But first, a word from our sponsor. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class for 2022. Through all our record-breaking inflation rate, crashing market, crypto scams, there is one asset that held its own, gold. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. Had you invested in the S&P 500 a year ago, you would be down more than 20%. If you invested in Bitcoin a year ago, you'd be down more than 65%. And if you invested in the Dow a year ago, you would be down almost 10%. Yes, gold has outperformed them all in 2022, and silver is not far behind. Yes, while the world was busy hailing other assets as, a, as the real hedge, gold and silver are the only assets that would have protected your wealth. So join the thousands of others by opening a gold IRA or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments. Get in before the end of this month and you'll bag a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000 or more. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. And there are thousands of five-star reviews. And remember, there's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. All right, dear friend, as stated, as stated, I have been trying for the longest time to deal with this notion of what is it that you are? What is it? What does it mean this, you know, this version of your political ideology, if there is such a thing. And, and this is, as you know, something that human beings love to do. We love to put people into categories. You know, what do you believe? What's your faith? What's your, what kind of music do you like? How would you describe your worldview, your fashion sense, etc., etc.? Well, mine, the best term for me is realism. And if you think about it, you're thinking, that's a, that's a term, that's a term. That explains it? Oh, yes. And realism is so beautiful when you look at it, and when you look at it in terms of term, uh, when you look at it in, in perimateria, uh, if you will, with real politique or real politics which is defined as politics based on practical objectives rather than on ideals. And I, I, I love the idea of, of how this deals with this, 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 that which is real and real politique again. And there's, there's many, many iterations of it, many, many versions of this. Something that deals primarily on considerations of given circumstances and realities. Not what the theory is. Realism. Realism in terms of art. Very simple. 
This is a bowl of fruit. It looks like this. I am replicating that which it is. I'm not giving you some interpretive version of what it should be. It's not a cubist version. It's not, it's not anything along those lines. The notion of realpolitik refers to, of course, uh, engaging, and it's always, it's usually spoken of as well in terms of foreign policy, but engaging in, in practical uh, policies uh, based on considerations of, of given circumstances, factors, rather than looking at ideological notions or, or moral and ethical considerations. The way it is. Think of this in terms of you being a pathologist and you're, you're diagnosing a disease or you're diagnosing a condition and you're telling the patient not whether they deserved this, not whether they warranted this, not whether they needed this, not whether they should have had this, or not whether they are responsible, not whether they, they cause this. But what is it? Is it? Is it death? Yes or no? Is it pregnancy? Yes or no? Is it cancer? Yes or no? That's it. I don't care why. I don't care. Um, the reasons for it. You know, sometimes people have talked about, and I've heard this before. In fact, I have a friend of mine who's a is a medical school professor, and the the not not the joke, but the but the pat answer was, what causes cancer? Is it environmental? Is it uh, is it uh, inherent? Is it genetic? Is it predisposed? Is it combinations thereof? Is it? And the answer is yes, meaning it's everything. I look at politics. I look at a situation based upon what it is. What are the ramifications? What do we deal with? How do we ultimately fix it? My sense of politics, and yours probably as well, it's not just, oh, let's just talk about it. No, you want to fix correct based upon what you think is correct and what you think is fixable. Does it matter whether this is a democratic issue, a republican issue, a libertarian issue? No, you want to fix it. Whether it's crime or energy or what, whatever your consideration, you want to look at it for what it is, for what it is actually is what it actually represents and not what it theoretically is, not what it maybe is, or based upon a frame of reference from the past. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If we could somehow get through a discussion where we were only instrument rated, meaning where we looked at what was actually before us, what we saw on the instrument panel itself, and not that which we wanted to say that comported with the usual nomenclature of our friends, the usual way of thinking, the way normal commentators and the like proceed with such. If we could do this, how glorious it would be. How glorious. I've done this so much before when I've talked to people about music. I've always loved what I call country music. I never worried about it. You mean bluegrass? Do you mean Bill Monroe? Do you mean Honky Tonk, Lefty Frizzell? Do you mean more rockabilly? Do you mean, is it more, is it more fundamental? Is it more Ernest Tubb, Jimmy Walker, Jimmy uh, Rogers rather, or Jimmy Walker, uh, George Jones? Do you mean more, uh, perhaps more, uh, uh, you know, Western swing, kind of Bob Wills, Asleep at the Wheel, Ray Benson? Do you mean, stop it. What are we doing? We're, we're not listening to the music. We're, we're too busy talking about what this thing is that we supposedly are talking about. That's all I want to do. I want to get to the essence, the gravamen of it. Not what you call it. Not what the word is. Not, not what the term is. And believe me, if we could do this, if you could say, I'm going to tell you what happened. This is what happened. And to then have somebody, and by the way, with that comes 
the exclusion of any kind of structured, I don't want to say bias, because bias is a term that is normally uh, described by another party, if you will. But you want to figure out, in essence, how is this to be performed in terms of the analysis of it for what it actually is and not, not what the popular version of this is. I've, I, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, but one of the issues that always drives me nuts, and it's not a very long ride, admittedly, is when people say literally, as opposed to really, literally. I literally, my eyes literally fell out of my head. No, no. And because we speak like this over a period of time, the lack of precision, the imprecision, doesn't matter anymore. I was talking to the phone recently about a VIN, vehicle identification number. And the parts department person was very astute because he says, what is the VIN? I said, by the way, thank you for not saying VIN number because that's almost tautological, it's redundant. Vehicle identification number number. ATM machine. No, it's automatic teller machine, machine. Things like that perhaps are priggish. Perhaps I'm too persnickety. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. But it goes back to the fact that I'm a realist. And if you think about it, so are you. Now, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please make a little notation, a little note, a little note to be, to be made aware of when these happen again, a little bell. And whatever you do, I beg, beseech, importune, and ask that you comment as you see fit.